And good evening and welcome to the River Channel's broadcast of Hudson High School Raiders soccer. Uh, tonight's matchup is the Hudson Raiders visiting in white, taking on the Chippewa Falls Cardinals in red uh, at Chippewa Falls Wisconsin High School. So, an exciting matchup. These teams uh, play regularly in the Big Rivers Conference. Uh, on your screen, you'll see Hudson in white playing from right to left. And from left to right will be the Chippewa Falls Cardinals, uh, the home team. So it's a beautiful night, and we're looking forward to some great soccer here tonight. Lots of ball movement here by the Cardinals, deep in their territory. <coughs> Raiders uh, get a push up. Nice crossing attempt there by the Raiders, uh, but uh, no, no good attempt on the other side. There's Harry Ross with the ball, moving it around. Nice move there by Harry Ross. Quick cross in. Ooh, nice snatch by the Chippewa Falls goalkeeper. Nice pull right out of the air there. Raiders moving it around again nicely, winning that big high punt, which we call a 50-50 ball. Uh, number 13, Connor Sparling there in the action. It's kind of that first five, ten minutes of a game. Teams are kind of feeling each other out, seeing what's going on. Um, these are players that probably cross paths a bit in summer soccer. Chippewa Falls being located near the Eau Claire area, north of Eau Claire. Um, Hudson located right on the border with Minnesota on I-94. So um, they're not that far apart. Their summer teams probably clash uh, one way or another. Probably not a lot of teammate uh, connections here, but uh, like we see with some of the other games. And here we go, Cardinals with a nice push up the field, uh, but an errant pass taken by the Raiders, deflected at least. Again, the Cardinals moving the ball around well, but uh, not really advancing. Here's Darren Chuckle with the ball for the Raiders. Some nice footwork and a nice uh, crossing attempt there, but not, uh, it was a little too tight on the goal. And the Chippewa Falls goalkeeper again comes up with that play. Raiders push it out left to uh, Owen Wassman, number seven, who's pushing it up. Solid defense by Chippewa Falls, takes that ball back. Again, Raiders kind of giving him free reign to bring that ball up the field. No one's going after them uh, as they carry it up a bit. So, looks like we're going to have a substitution. Come on, and a big throw from Chippewa Falls. Harry Ross gets ahead on that. Oh, nice job, Harry. Pushing that ball around, using his body well. He contains it down deep. See what can happen here. Nice cross in again. That was a really great attempt. Into um, the game for Chippewa Falls, number 20, Hunter Woodford. Great attempt there by Harry Ross on the cross. It uh, went across nicely. Maybe a little tight to the goal, but uh, not much you can do. It was a great left-footed cross by Harry. Um, good attempt. Nobody home, which can be hard. And the Raiders score on a surprising little pop-up. That Darren Chuckle, number 11, captain of the Raiders, one of the captains, uh, got a head on and put it in the far side of the goal. So uh, excellent job by Darren Chuckle. I'm not sure who put that ball in, but uh, it uh, those are the things that happen in games. And getting your head on the ball and putting as many balls on goals produces points. So well done, Raiders. That's going to in the 
three minute and 39 second moment. Uh, that is a goal for your Raiders who now take over. Scoring for Hudson in 337 was number 11, Darren Chuckle. Chuckle with the goal for Hudson at 337. Big throw there from Cohen Ballapu. Gonna have another throw. Gets it in over to Connor Sparling. Harry Ross with the ball back. All the way back to the defense. Liam uh, Salama there with the ball. Over to Nikki Elinoff. And out wide and advancing now the field. So sometimes people don't understand in soccer why we move the ball around the field, why we bring the ball backwards sometimes, almost the length of the field. But uh, it really is about waiting for an opportune time to find the gaps up the field to push the ball and have the most advantage. So... Um, it's a unique sport in that sense, <clears throat> and here we go, and there's Toby Schneider, wow, that was close, like uh, maybe a miscommunication there a little bit between, uh, um, I think that might have been Nikki Alanoff and uh, Toby Schneider, but all played out well with Toby collecting that ball, so, uh, Chippewa Falls with a little scare there on the Raiders. Owen Wasserman taking the ball again. Putting it in with a left-footed cross. Ooh, deadly dangerous. Big play there for the Raiders. That ball kind of is not a high-powered cross, but it snuck through. And it uh, Raiders had a chance. They got a foot on it, but it was an awkward angle, awkward shot. But... Um, Still a good play by the Raiders. That's the type of play that's going to lead to more later on in this match. And that shot went wide. So Chippewa Falls got a goal kick. They've advanced the ball all the way up. Toby Schneider uh, collects it. And now we advance the ball up the field for the Raiders. Gonna have a Chippewa Falls throw in here. Big push up. Raiders trying to get it out, but the Cardinals control it. Harry Ross again in the middle of the field trying to move that up. Ball gets pushed up to Owen Wassman, who's pushing up hard. Nice cutback. Okay, ball out to Chuckle. Mm, that ball uh, called out of bounds will be a throw in. Good push up by the Raiders. And a big throw coming. Gary Ross plays that very well off the bounce. Back to Salama. Tries to push it up the field, but the Cardinals with a little more pressure than expected. Good ball movement by the Cardinals. It is defense uh, getting challenged here. Cardinals, uh, ooh, big cross in by the Cardinals. Ooh, got a head on it. Just couldn't quite get the angle onto the goal. <clears throat> nice attempt by the Cardinals. Uh, we'll have a goal kick for the Raiders. Toby Schneider queuing that up. Sounds like some substitutions going on. I'm actually announcing this game uh, electronically, so uh, watching a recording while I play, but I do not know the outcome. Uh, I like to keep it that way to keep it fun. In for Hudson, number 19, Brady Anderson. Here we go, Brady Anderson announced into this match. 
Brady is a senior. I coached Brady for many years. Here we go. Raiders with a breakaway. And a score by Sean Berger. Nice push up there by uh, the Raiders. Quick turn and sometimes those quick, quick counterattacks pay off. Um, threaded the needle. Uh, sometimes that works. Often it doesn't, but you still try it from time to time. They threaded a little needle pass uh, through ball. Berger with some speed is able to get that ball and deposit it in the goal with a nice, nicely placed shot by Sean. Um, in the lower right corner. So, Raiders now up. That was in the uh, 8 minute 45th second about. Scoring for Hudson at 8.42, number three, Sean Berger. Berger with the goal for Hudson at 8.43. 8.43 by the PA announcer. We'll live with that. And uh, that is a, another goal for the Raiders and a 2 nothing lead now by the Raiders um, who are visiting the Chippewa Falls uh, Cardinals. Uh, so, Raiders 2, Chippewa Falls 0, about 10 minutes, close to 10 minutes into this match. Um, that's a tough one there, those, are, those happen so fast and can be disappointing to a team. So hopefully the Cardinals uh, don't let it get them down too much and keep playing a nice match here. They've uh, been moving the ball well. Raiders are quick attacking though. Ball kind of going back and forth between the Hudson midfield and the Chippewa Falls defense. Throwing to Harry Ross, who's going to bring it back to Salama. Puts it up. 50 50 territory is Sean Berger fighting it out. Used a little more, probably a little more arm than Sean needed to on that play and got called for a foul. So Chippewa Falls will have a free kick here out of their own territory. Nice. Big ball up. Chuckle wins that with a head. Gary Ross puts it out wide to Berger. Berger's going to settle it. Again, brings it back to reset and open up space. Chuckle uh, now looks like playing in the midfield. Takes that ball. Gary Ross again moving that ball in and out on the side. Waiting for a seam to form. Chippewa Falls held strong though. Nice turn there by Chippewa Falls. But uh, kind of deposited a little too far up. Raiders are able to take it. Nikki Allenoff far up the side. Uh, nobody home unfortunately. So now it'll be a Cardinals throw in again. Substitution's happening off screen for me, so we'll wait for the announcement to see who's entering the game. About 11 and a half minutes into this match. Between these big rivers or conference Virginia, rivals. Number four, number four, Grand Con The uh, Raiders today on Thursday, September 1st. This is their first day of school. I'm not sure uh, when Chippewa reported back, but uh, these boys had their first day of school and then a soccer match, so an exciting day for these guys. Raiders again pushing it up the sideline. And uh, Anderson tries to make a move. Cardinals defense holds, but another throw in for the Raiders. Gary Ross bringing it back to William Salama. Oh, nice through ball there. Brady Anderson switching it, putting it across. Maybe not as much on it as he wanted. Big fire there by uh, Aaron Sparling. <clears throat> Happened a little quick though, so uh, got under it a little too much. Uh, but a nice play there. Good heads up play. That's kind of good play that you can catch a goalkeeper sleeping on. Um, that ball did ricochet off a Cardinal though and the Raiders will have the first corner kick of the match. 
Um, and we'll see what they do. Looks like they might play short two-man route. Um, but they may go big as well. Raiders usually line two up in the corner just to kind of play mind games. Oh, that was a great cross. Oh! Wow, great cross. <laughs> great first shot by... Uh, Ian for Hudson, number seven, oh one. I think that was Connor Sparling. Uh, with a really nice first attempt, and then a ricochet off to Darren Chuckle, who got kind of an off-balanced header on. Not a lot of power on that header that uh, hit the crossbar. And then eventually ejected by the Cardinals' defense. But a uh, really great attempt by the Raiders as they keep the pressure on with up to nothing in this match. Raiders bring the ball all the way back to Toby Schneider. He puts a big kick on down the field. There's Chuckle with the ball. Sitting it out wide. Quite a bit of pace on that ball. Ends up putting it out of bounds and will be throwing for the Cardinals. So a whole bunch of this Raider team. I uh, had the privilege of coaching and help coaching for a number of years when they were young lads uh, learning the game. So very fun to watch these guys as they grow into young men and have developed their skills and their understanding of the game. So very fun to watch these guys play. Toby Schneider gearing up for a big kick. Raiders are off to a three in one season uh, so far. Three wins, one loss. Uh, loss in the Minnesota Cup over in Stillwater last week to a very good match with the uh, Ponies in the championship game of that tournament. But the Raiders uh, gave that one up. It was a good loss. It was a good match. They played well. Um, probably learned a lot from that and uh, are going to take that up to uh, take that up to now into conference play, um, which will only help. Always a crowd around the ball with the Raiders trying to provide a little misdirection. The like Aaron Sparling there eventually taking that left footed shot. Ross and Chuckle uh, there as decoys. Goal kick for the Cardinals now. Putting that ball a big kick there by the Cardinals. One by Aaron Sparling. Actually, sorry, that's Connor Sparling. A little bit of physicality there, but uh, some of the fans, it sounds like we're unhappy, but uh, foul was called. Soccer is a physical game, though. There's going to be a lot of contact. There should be a lot of contact, and uh, fouls can and should be called. So... Here we go. Big chase down in the corner. It's going to give the Cardinals a, looks like a goal or a corner kick. So that's an equalizer. Corner kicks are high frequency, high percentage scoring opportunity for all teams because you get the chance to really put that ball into the scoring area. And the Cardinals did. Didn't get a solid shot on goal there, but uh, there's always the chance. Um, good play by Toby Schneider there, though, picking up that errant pass and sending it up the field. Here we go. Big throw in for the Cardinals. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. 
over the center of the field. That's Brady Anderson taking that ball up the field, using his body nicely there over to Harry Ross. Over to Nikki Elinoff, and then up to Owen Wassman. Here we go. Good strike by Wassman, going for far post. Uh, that was open. Tough for goalies, know exactly where to be. Shot went wide, though, and was a little out of reach out of uh, what the other Raider strikers were looking to do, which is crash that far post, because they knew that was generally where that ball was going to go. But uh, the pace on the ball was a little tough. Playing on these turf fields, the ball rolls <clears throat> so much faster than it does on grass that uh, these players takes time to understand that pace. Here we go. Here it is again. Uh, great hustle by Aaron Sparling. That ball again, the pace on it just got a little far from him, and he lost her over the goal line, so it's going to be a goal kick for the Cardinals. That goal kick uh, won by Harry Ross. Lots of collisions here on this bouncing balls uh, high in the air. Cardinals end up taking it, but there's the Raiders. Brady Anderson oof, chopped down from behind. No foul called. Anderson hustles back, applies some pressure. Harry Ross there as well. Nice ball movement by the Cardinals despite all that pressure, though. And a pause in the action. And there we go. We had a little technical snafus there with some of our camera work. I apologize for that. It's like the Raiders have pushed the ball up the field and uh, nothing too exciting happened during that. And uh ball falls by his ball back where they had it in the beginning. And they're advancing it well. And... Cohen ball up here with a little uh, too much shoulder on that play, maybe, and it's going to be free kick um, deep in Cardinal territory. We're now over 20 minutes, so we're over halfway through the first half of play. Cardinals uh, probably have one of their better opportunities here. Free kick from about uh, 25 yards out. Raiders have a wall, and they're going to be backed up. Schneider getting ready back in the goal. Low strike. Didn't quite get a solid, solid strike on that, but played it low and hard, and Schneider was ready for it. And uh, nice play by Toby. Big punt up the field. And uh, body's kind of flopping, but I think they were more off balance than anything. Aaron Sparling there with the ball out wide, sends it in the middle, but uh, won by the Chippewa Falls goalkeeper. Puts a big punt on it himself. Chippewa Falls trying to send it up wide, maybe trying to surprise Toby Schneider, maybe try to chip it over his head. Um, but Toby, Toby's pretty wise to those tactics, and... Uh, Looked at that ball nicely. Here's Wassman with the ball, sending it up. Darren Sparling with a lot of his reach uh, and defense there as well. But uh, good attempt by the Raiders. Here we go. Another punt by Chippewa Falls. Vandenbark back there for the Raiders on defense. Chippewa oh. Falls able to advance that ball and get their probably their first solid shot on goal. Um, Chippewa or uh, Toby Schneider with a great save there, pulling that ball hard shot right out of the air. Going to call foul on the Raiders, uh, a push on that play. It's going to give Chippewa Falls. Another good opportunity, a lot further out 
This is a setup uh, play, so they're going to try to put that ball somewhere in the danger zone in front of the goal and see if something happens. Woo! Big kick. It's a nice ball. It's a nice ball. Lots of players there. A uh, good attempt there by Chippewa Falls. They had some good opportunity, but that ball uh, just didn't want to bounce their way on that play. Big ball up by the Raiders. There goes Wasman trying to win that ball on the far side. It'll be a Raiders throw it. <clears throat> Sounds like we'll have a substitution here. Again, the Raiders pushing to. Ian Robson, number two, Connor Hauser, number three, Sean Berger. All right, two, uh, two young men I had the privilege of coaching for a number of years, Sean Berger and Connor Hauser, entering the match. <clears throat> Actually coached their brothers as well, so uh, both, uh, both boys um, with soccer in the family genes there, and uh, it be fun to see these guys what they do tonight. Berger already has a goal, so uh, it's a good night for him already. Although Sean uh, will want the goal more, or the win more than anything. We're now at close to 25 minutes into the match. <clears throat> Your Hudson Raiders visiting uh, have the lead to nothing over the hometown Chippewa Falls High School uh, Cardinals by a score of 2-0. to zero. thought that ball went out of bounds, but uh, apparently it didn't, and uh, Chippewa was able to push it up quite a ways. Their sidelines are a little hard to see. They're blue. And gets off a quick, hard shot, but uh, Toby Schneider for the Raiders had the post covered, and that ball uh, snuck in on the side. And missed wide, but uh, but a, but a but a good attempt. So here we go, Toby with a goal kick now. Cardinals uh, seem to be building a little confidence, <clears throat> pushing the ball up the field, and uh, winning some more of these 50-50 balls. Those are balls that are kind of kicked with the idea that either team. Uh, can get possession of it. So that's what a 50-50 ball is. Um, kind of like punts and and just kind of when you just clear the ball out you don't know where it's going. It could be won by anybody. Raiders with a nice head ball out of the uh, goal area up to Berger. He's going to Tried to get it through to Chuckle there, but I think there was a little miscommunication on what was going to happen. Wasman, good little sidestep there, up to Chuckle. Good defense by Chippewa Falls. Well, Falls moving that ball around after taking it uh, from the attempt deep in their territory. Good uh, attempt there by the Cardinals, but the Raiders uh, eventually win that defensively and get that ball moving around. Rasta Chuckle over to Alanoff now. He's taking it deep up the field. Chuckle again uh, in the center. <clears throat> it's like Darren has settled in at uh, maybe the nine, one of the center midfield positions. Chuckle with the ball at top. He's going to probably take it. 
Looked like he was uh, set to take a shot earlier, but wanted to bring it in a little bit further and uh, ran into a bit of a uh, bit more defense, but uh, good play there by Chuckle. Got off a shot, ricocheted off the Cardinals, which is an ideal outcome if you're not going to get a score, is you're going to get a corner kick. And it looks like we have Connor Hauser and Aaron Sparling in the uh, corner to try to do something. We'll see if it's going to be a, a two-man show or just a big kick in. Sparling goes low and uh, kind of mishit that one, it looks like, because Aaron normally puts that in the sweet spot about 8 to 10 yards out from the goal. Ian for Chippewa Falls, number 13, Aaron Christie. And uh, usually puts it there. This one went a little bit haywire on Aaron, which happens. Um, you're using your feet, which are sometimes a little unpredictable, <laughs> even for the better players. So uh, here we go with the Raiders uh, fighting out for that goal kick. Chuckle in the center getting leveled. Foul called, so Raiders will have a free kick at the center of the field. So a warm night, and you can see the boys wiping the sweat with their shirts during the break. Big ball in. sparling has got the leg. Oh, great attempt by the Raiders, even though uh, Berger was called offsides. Uh, it's a nice play. Uh, Sparling has a big leg. He put that ball about 50, 55 yards into a great spot. And uh, Sean Berger there in the right spot, too, to get ahead on it. But Sean uh, looks like maybe snuck ahead of the defense a little bit. Um, timing is everything. And uh, so the header was didn't score, but it wouldn't have scored either. So clear out here by Chippewa Falls. Gets that ball back and forth. The Raiders moving it around again. There's Connor Hauser with the ball. Looks like Harry Ross moving it around out there. Good play there by Liam Salama. Sliding over to help out his defensive teammate, Henry Vandenbark. A lot of times in soccer, you'll see defensive strategy with uh, one defender going after the, the person with the ball. Um, in other cases, uh, it may not be as noticeable, but you do try to have a two-man, one that applies pressure and forces the player in a direction that you want them to go while another player is in that next space ready to, when the player has to change direction, uh, take the ball away. So. Uh, team, there are team strategies to defense in the short and in the long um, big picture of the game, I guess. Good uh, play here. Ball moving around by the Raiders. Over to Ballapu. Puts it up to uh, Aaron Sparling. Over to Berger and over to Allenoff. Big step on the shot and a score! Wow, surprising play by the Raiders. Uh, looked like Harry or Darren Chuckle, perhaps. Uh, that happened very quickly. And I'm going to need to hear the PA announcer announce that one. I think it was Chuckle with the, uh, again, a long... Take those long shots sometimes to keep everybody honest, and uh, that was a well done, well struck, well placed shot, uh, and it did its job. It uh, took uh, the Cardinals off guard. Scoring Hudson in thirty-one fifty-six, number eleven, Darren Chuckle. There we go, Darren Chuckle. Chuckle, Chuckle. Goal over Hudson at thirty-one fifty-six. Chuckle's second goal of the night. And a nice play there on that goal by Darren. And that's going to put the Raiders now up 3 0. Uh, about 32 to 33 minutes into this match. Chuckle again pushing it up wide. Going to look to set up a teammate or two. 
big cross uh, there, and the Raiders are able to still collect it. Cardinals push it up. Uh, that goal seemed to maybe take some of the wind out of the Cardinals there. They had uh, been playing a long, nice streak of soccer there with uh, some good attempts on the Raiders' uh, goal, playing some good defense as well. Um, but that was a great play by Chuckle to uh, get the Raiders back on top and the momentum swung back their way. In for Hudson, number 13, Connor Sparling, number 19, Brady Anderson. Aaron Sparling there going for kind of a bicycle type kick or a sidekick uh, shot, but too many people around and referees don't really like you doing that when you have a chance of maybe hitting somebody in the head with your with your kick. So probably a dangerous play type call there on Sparling. There's Brady Anderson in the center, moving it around. Up to Chuckle, who spreads it out to Harry Ross. Harry Ross playing a nice match here, setting a lot of good things up. Big shot there by the Raiders. Um, off balance, took a little bit of a hit during that play, which forced that shot to kind of go haywire. Be a Chippewa Falls throwing. Looks like we're going to have a substitution or two. We'll wait for the PA announcement for that. In for Chippewa Falls, number 21, Sean Bird. All right, so there it is again pushing through. Chuckle uh, redirecting that header a bit. Harry Ross uh, fighting it out. Going to be a throw in for the Raiders like uh, Henry Vandenbark is on the left side of the defense now and he's taking that throw in. Connor Sparling fighting it out there. It's Connor Hauser in the corner trying to apply a little pressure and it's going to end up with a throw in. Down to a little under five minutes left in the first half here. <clears throat> Raiders uh, leading with a score of three to nothing, and another great chance there. Connor Sparl or Connor uh, Hauser with a little switch ball there that Aaron Sparling got a chance at, and uh, or, or maybe Brady Anderson there, and uh, unsuccessful, but still a great play. You see a lot of that in soccer. You got to have a lot of unsuccessful plays usually to win a game. <laughs> because you want to have a lot of good opportunities. Big kick up the field for Chippewa Falls from the goal kick. Seen a lot of good passing and playing. Yeah, for Chippewa here. Falls, number two, Colton Irwin, and number three, Anthony Silverano. Seen some good uh, team play here by Chippewa Falls, some good ball movement. Um, just have not translated into scores and uh, Raiders, frankly, have made three spectacular goals. Um, the first was a, a header by uh, Chuckle, um, which was a really spectacular play. Second was a really sneaky through ball to Sean Berger, who deposited it in a perfect spot. And then the last goal was a, a long boomer by Chuckle. So, um, scoring on spectacular plays is very fun, and the Raiders uh, are up because of it. <laughs> Down to about three minutes in the half. Moving it around, there's Vandenbank, Vanderbark, sorry. Uh, up to Harry Ross, up to Darren Chuckle, over to Connor Hauser, and that's going to be a corner kick here late in the half for the Raiders. And uh, looks to be there's no ball collectors here, so uh, Raiders are making the long run to get that ball. It's like Aaron Sparling lining up in the corner <clears throat> to take this with Harry Ross. <laughs> 
Connor Hauser, who ran to get that ball, has now run back to the field and is manning up in the goal to see what can happen. Playing it short this time. Sometimes gives you some advantages. This case, not so much. But the uh, Raiders still continue to control that ball. They need to kind of, there you go, they're pulling it back, resetting. A lot of chaos there, so you pull it back to reset. Chuckle with some nice moves there. Gets it over to Sparling, back to uh, Nikki Allenoff, who gets kind of an unbalanced shot off. Will be a goal kick here by the Cardinals. Down to under two minutes in the half. Raiders up 3 0. Amber Chippewa Falls, number 22, Liam DeWitz. Substitution back in for Chippewa Falls for these last minute or so on defense, probably to help uh, try to keep the score where it's at right now. Big step off by Allenoff to win that header. We just bring that ball all the way back to Ballapu. Brings it all the way back to Toby Schneider. Toby puts it up. One minute remaining in the first half. Anderson moving that ball. Tries to slip it through to Chuckle, but uh, stepped up nicely on defense by the Cardinals. Like a hold of some sort, maybe a handball on Harry Ross. Couldn't quite see what happened to myself. Down to about 30 seconds. Again, uh, Chippewa Falls trying to make some interesting things happen here. They've uh, had some good opportunities. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And there's your half. Your Hudson the visiting the Hudson High school, school Raiders. Three, and three the, the hometown Chippewa and Falls the Cardinals three, zero. And we'll be back in a moment for the second half. And here we are, back for the second half. Uh, teams switch sides. The Raiders visiting Hudson Raiders in white now playing from left to right. Uh, the Chippewa Falls Falcons, the hometown team, will be uh, playing right to left when they hit the field in red. Uh, Raiders winning by a score of three to nothing in the first half. Uh, two scores by Captain Darren Chuckle and one score from Sean Berger. Two players that are starting to become the uh, scoring Leaders and the people making it happen for the Raiders, Chuckle and Berger. Uh, two players who, since they were little, were, were guys that were going to be scorers year in and year out. Um, had had uh, the great opportunity to coach both those boys for many years. Not surprised to see them both excelling and scoring uh, this year, their senior years. Waiting for a few things here. Referees signaling to get, let's get going. And the Raiders will have the kickoff here. And we're off for the final 40 minutes. Oh, Raiders again, kind of going long and see if they can uh, catch the Falcons or the Cardinals a little off balance and a nice play by spiraling up to Berger but a little out of Berger's reach uh, so taken by the goalkeeper so chuckle in the corner making some things happen he's gonna it's like he went for a big shot uh, probably trying to play the upper upper right corner there um, those shots are tough. You really got to have the ball in your hips in the right place to, to make a shot like that. But you got to take a shot every once in a while. Went wide, and the Cardinals get the goal kick.
Substitution for the Cardinals already in the first minute. And now uh, we'll get their throw. Big ball in. Looked like one of the Sparling brothers there with the kick. Number three in for Chippewa Falls, Anthony Soberano. Cardinals moving the ball up. Kind of kicking it into a defensive mass, though, and the Raiders are going to take that back to Toby Schneider. <clears throat> Had to use his feet there. So for those of you that are a little unfamiliar with soccer, if uh, a player, on, if you're a goalkeeper and a player on your own team passes the ball to you, you cannot use your hands. So that is why sometimes in very awkward situations where it seems like the goalkeeper should pick up the ball, uh, they can't. Um, because if they do, that'll be a penalty kick uh, attempt for the other team because a handball in the box would do that. So now sometimes goalkeepers will play with their feet just because uh, it presents a better opportunity to move the ball as accurately as they would like. So there you go. Toby Schneider gets the ball back to him, plays it with his feet. Raiders defense moving it around. Up to Aaron Sparling. And Raiders will have a throw in deep in their offensive territory. Owen Wassman chasing that ball down. Darkness has now fully hit the Chippewa Falls Stadium, and there's a great play by the Raiders. Just a really nice play. Looks like Sean Berger with his second goal of the night. And a kind of a maybe a slightly off cross, a little deep, but Berger and Chuckle both were there. Uh, Berger getting the head on it and heading that ball really you know in the spot to score that it could because the goalkeeper was there um and headers can be kind of all over the place but uh Berger really used his neck well um and directed that ball off his head where he wanted it to go and made it an easy score and that's going to put the Raiders now up four to nothing with Sean Berger's second goal of the night The Hudson goal at 43 04 was headed in by number three, Sean Berger. Berger with the goal for Hudson, 43 04. Nice play there, nice header there by uh, Chuckle. Uh, Chippewa Falls goalkeeper making a nice uh, diving save on that one. So tonight, two header goals for the Raiders. Uh, actually, headers happen more often than not with teams that, uh, if you understand how to head and you make that a priority, it's a great way to score, and you will see the good teams uh, doing that frequently. So um, really fun to watch, though. Header goals are some of the most fun. Here we go. Raiders again, controlling it, pushing it in. Aaron Sparling there with a header attempt. Kind of skimmed off him there. Wasn't able to get good contact. Um, that's the tricky part. Uh, again, you know, uh, using your feet and your head are two things that uh, are tricky to do sometimes. Uh, but super fun to watch him try. Here we go. All the way back to Toby Schneider. This is one he's got to play with his feet. Up to Harry Ross. Over to Owen Wassman. Laid out wide. And the Raiders will get a throw in.
Chuckle with the ball. Deep in, sends it up, sets up across. Comes out wide to Allen off, and he scores. <laughs> Nikki Allen off with a spectacular shot off a, a little bit of a ricochet, and he hit that with his laces, and that was a blistering shot um, that not many goalkeepers would be able to stop. So. Someone other than Chucklenberger uh, on the scoring board here. And the Raiders now take a 5 nothing lead. They are in Chippewa Falls. Ball's playing tough though, not giving up. Pushing that ball up the field. Trying to make some things happen. Raiders defense playing strong. Scoring in Hepper Hudson in 45-46, number six, Nikki Allen. Allen with the goal for Hudson. And the time of that goal again was 43-45-46. Great play there, uh, again by Alanoff. Great shot. Um, you know, one of the great parts of that shot was that the Raiders were putting the ball into the goal area. They're putting it into that dangerous area. The ball's going to bounce around. Often players over pursue and run way too deep into the box. Alanoff stayed up top. Um, Probably where he was supposed to be in that situation because balls end up there and um, you want somebody there. So all around great play there by the Raiders. And now we're about 47 minutes into the match. Raiders up 5 nothing. Connor Sparling fighting it out in the middle of the field. Looks like the Raiders have, uh, not sure who number 20 is. I'm going to scour my rosters and see if I can find out who that is. Could possibly be Cameron Wade. Raiders have... Cameron listed as number 20 on the JV roster, uh, but uh, might be playing up on the varsity. So we'll go with that uh, for now. Chippewa Falls with the throw in. Sean Berger, going to be a, another a Raider throw in. Looks like Alanov is lining up to take that throw. <clears throat> Berger with a good left footed cross. Nice uh, clear by the Chippewa Falls defense. <clears throat> In for Chippewa Falls, number 7, Ethan Bashman. Connor Sparling there with the ball in the center. Slowing it down, picking it up. Nice play by Connor. Over to Berger. Big strike there by Aaron Sparling. Big left-footed shot. Raiders hoping to add to their five-goal total. Chippewa Falls hoping to keep it where it is and maybe put one or two of their own on the goal or on the scoreboard. <laughs> We're now about ten minutes into the first half.
30 minutes left to play. In for Hudson, number four, Brennan Bollapu. Brennan Bollapu in for the Raiders, as we heard. Uh, those two Bollapu brothers on the squad this year. Cohen, who uh, announced earlier, number eight, and now Brennan, number four, in the match. <coughs> Twin brothers. And I believe there is a third, so I actually think they're triplets. But uh, two on the squad and fun to watch them play. Over the years, the Raiders have had a number of brother combinations, which has been fun to watch. <coughs> Ball cleared out there by Toby Schneider. Maybe not exactly the way Toby wanted, but uh, it worked. And Raiders are trying to get it out. Side judge raised the flag, maybe an offsides, but uh, they held it off. Put the ball to Berger. He's got the ball. He had to force it out, of, out wide a bit, which took a little bit off what uh, Sean could do with that ball. We just go for a big crescent. Ooh, yep, big foul there on Chippewa Falls. Made a, nice, made a nice play on the ball, but got a little more body. Uh, on body than most refs are going to allow. So, <clears throat> so this is uh, dangerous for the Raiders. This is about 22, 23 yards out. Ref is marking the players back the appropriate 10 yards or so. It's like Aaron Sparling gearing up. And a goal for Aaron Sparling. He tagged that ball super hard uh, and a little bit of bouncing around on the Cardinal side. Puts that ball in for Aaron Sparling with the goal. Raiders' sixth goal of the match. And Aaron is the fourth scorer for the Raiders. <clears throat> and uh, Raiders with a very comfortable six-goal lead with about 28 minutes left in the match. The Cardinals are really uh, pushing to stay in this match and are really continuing to Scoring the Hudson goal of 51-50 was number nine, <coughs> Aaron Spalding. Sparlings. Aaron Sparling with the goal for Hudson. At 51-58. Looks like the Cardinals will have... Oh, looks like the Raiders have a man down. Looks to be Mac Mizzle. A little bit of a limp here. Maybe a pulled strain muscle. <clears throat> Hudson trainers out to the field. Time is stopped. And uh, they'll tend to Mac, make sure he's all right. Get the game going again. Looks like he has left the game off the end line. Raiders are substituting, I'm sure. And uh, looks like it's going to be a throw in or. Maybe a kick. It's going to be a kick for the Cardinals. Off screen. Kind of like a corner kick. Ooh. That was a little scary for the Raiders. That one snuck all the way through and across the field. And uh, could have been deposited easily if a Cardinal had been in the right place at the right time. Fortunately for the Raiders, that was not the case. And they hold the shutout. All right, Toby Schneider in blue, Raiders goalkeeper, looking to uh, kick this ball deep up. <clears throat> Henry Vandenberg with a nice turn there. Nice. Hauser there, fighting for the ball. Out wide to Brady Anderson. Again, over to Vandenberg. 
And up the field. Nice turn and play there. That's going to be Connor Hauser trying to win that ball. Taken by the Cardinals defense. Raiders, despite the six goal lead, still trying to add to that. I believe there is now a new rule in Wisconsin high school soccer that if a team uh, does end up uh, ahead by eight goals, that the uh, game is then ended at that point. So um, I'm not sure if that'll be the case here whether the Raiders can score two more or not, but uh, that is a new rule this year in Wisconsin high school soccer. Um, probably in a way to prevent injury <coughs> and things like that. Um, if the team gets up 8 nothing, that game is all but over, and... Uh, Players can get hurt in those kind of games when, when there's not much on the line anymore. So Raiders continue to fight it out. We'll see if our game ends up in that situation or not. Cardinals going for a long shot. Didn't quite get probably all the power on that 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 player wanted. Toby Schneider easily collects it <clears throat> and sends a big punt up the field. Lots of header action here in the center of the field. So like Coach Solom has pulled out uh, a number of the starters and uh, giving some well-balanced time to the, the non-starters. There's still quite a few starters on the field, though. Um, giving them the time on the field under the lights that they need to help this team advance. Uh, this season takes the entire team. In Virginia Falls, 22, Liam DeWitz. Takes an entire team to get to where the Raiders want to be, which is the state tournament again. Raiders have made it to the tournament the last two years, uh, two consecutive years, and uh, are striving to do that again. And uh, players will get hurt, players will get sick. There will be situations where anybody on the roster is needed so it's good to get these get other players <clears throat> in and out of the game here for the Raiders. Cardinals still playing tough all over the field it's uh, good to see that foul there on the Raider he got all ball but uh, I guess the ref didn't like the angle of attack maybe um, The angles that the referee sees are very different than what other people see, so you uh, you trust they're making the good the good call, and that's how the game goes. So Cardinals with a kick in a dangerous area, maybe a little far for a shot. He's trying to set it up. See, it's bouncing around. That's what makes it dangerous there. You just want to get it in there, but the Raiders' defense able to get it out of there, and. Uh, Hard takeaway there by Chippewa Falls. No foul called. They keep pushing the ball up the field. And yeah, foul on the Cardinals. Uh, Cardinals playing some good ball there, but a little too physical. Kind of an accidental knockdown. Cardinal player gave the Raider a pat on the back, so he, he recognized it. It's good to see that kind of sportsmanship. And the Raiders again moving the ball. Trying to see what they can do. <clears throat> Bring it all the way back deep to the defense. Uh-oh. All right. That was a little little, uh, a little, too close for comfort for me, probably for Coach Solon. Played the ball back to Toby Schneider, not realizing the player for the Cardinals was nearby. <clears throat> Made that a little closer than anybody would like. Fortunately, as mentioned before, Toby Schneider is a um, very foot-skilled goalkeeper. Toby can play in the field very well. Um, Coach Toby, when he was younger, 
and uh, you know he's continued to advance those skills because that's what makes her a great goalkeeper one who uh, can use his hands and knows the angles but also can uh, you know be a field player and use their feet um, anywhere on the field all right Raiders have moved it up the field and they are now with a corner kick this is a dangerous play for the Raiders because they are good at this nice ball in Hauser was in the I know that was Brady Anderson was in the area, but a little off the line for Brady. Now looks like we're gonna have another corner kick. <clears throat> we're now into the, about close to the 60th minute of the match, leaving 20 minutes left to play. <clears throat> Raiders gearing up here, and that kick was a bit errant and uh, left the field of play before the Raiders had a chance to do anything with it. It happens at all levels, so uh, Chippewa Falls dodges a bullet there, and we'll have a goal kick. <coughs> Looks like we have uh, some substitutions coming. New goalie for Hudson. Goalkeeping substitution for the Hudson Raiders. Sounds like that will be number 25, Talon Sheets. Talon Sheets has announced into the match. <clears throat> and about as far away from Talon as possible. The Raiders had a nice scoring opportunity there. Good hustle there by number 20. And uh, but ends up in a goal kick for the Cardinals. <clears throat> Big kick here for Amber Chip of Ball number 20, Hunter Woodford. Cardinals. Talon Sheets with his first uh, touch of the game, maybe of the season. I have not seen Talon enter a match yet. <clears throat> um, I've seen all but maybe one game. And uh, the Raiders defense is helping him out and moving it back up the field now. close. Uh, that was very close to using hands outside the box, but uh, must, I, it's hard to see from the angle I have, but uh, Talon makes a nice play, and uh, Cardinals get that ball, but kick it wide, and Talon's going to have his first goal kick here. <clears throat> Big kick by Talon, nicely done. Sends up the field. Defense keeps pushing. Amber Hudson, number 16, Mac Bazell. There we go. Mac Bazell back in the game for the Raiders. Foul there, and a uh, gonna give the Chippewa Falls team a free kick about 35 yards out. <clears throat> It'll be setting us up uh, probably to put it a little bit right of the goal, right side of the goal, up high, see if something can happen. We're gonna crash as many people as possible. Raiders pulling a lot of people back because they want to maintain the shutout. Here it is, big kick in. A little too much on that ball, and it sails across Talon Sheets and the goal. Ball 
kind of going back and forth. Again, the Chippewa Falls team moving the ball pretty well, just kind of when it gets to that certain point, the <coughs> Raiders defense is uh, is pretty strong and able to to put an end to that. But uh, in open space, they're, they're moving the ball very well. Um, foul, though, on Chippewa Falls, and Raiders are going to get a free kick. Again, this is a dangerous territory. Raiders are able to put this ball into great spots uh, in front of the goal here. We'll see what happens. Big kick. It's high. Ooh, played by the goalkeeper. That was probably a little harder, heavier <coughs> than the Raiders really wanted, but uh, a nice play. Goalkeeper punched it out. Fortunately for Chippewa Falls, they had uh, players there. Mackenzie with a nice play there, playing defensively to knock that ball out. In the 65th minute now of this match, leaving about 15 minutes left. Chippewa Falls uh, working hard to get something on the board here. Talon Cheats with a nice grab there, though, and uh, kind of getting his legs under him with some varsity action here, which is exciting, and uh, gets that ball out. Brady Anderson, nice ball, using his body, playing that ball the outside of his foot. Uh, Really nice play. And it's through. It's sneaky. And it's a score for the Raiders. That was a really nice play. Um, ball sent in nicely and pursued by the Raiders uh, striker, number 20. We'll wait for the announcement because uh, my rosters do not have a number 20. And I'm going to be excited to find out who that player is who scored that really beautiful goal. On my roster, that might be Cameron Wade with the score. But we'll wait and see what the stadium announcer has because they probably have the better roster since I was not able to be at the game live. Raiders again moving that ball around. Brady Anderson. Foul on the Raiders, a little chip from behind. So uh, Chippewa falls with the pushing of the score or the ball up the field. Raiders now up 7 0. That was their fifth score of the match. Scoring for Hudson is 65-32, number 20, Quentin Mohaden. Ah, that's Quentin. Mohaden I was wondering. Uh, my roster's head Quentin Mohaden. 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 Quentin Mohaden with the goal for Hudson. Time of the goal, 65-32. So that's Quentin. Um, I had a feeling that was Quentin. Um, on the rosters I have, he was number 18. Tonight, he's number 20. So, Quentin, nicely done. Great goal. Uh, played a tough ball there and made some great things happen. Here he is again with the ball. Quentin, the senior, getting on the bo scoring board. There's Brady Anderson. Plays that ball nicely. Brought out wide. Played it a little bit off so someone could make something happen. But uh, <clears throat> there's always that thing called the defense there that tends to ruin some great opportunities uh, like that one. But well done, Raiders. Raiders now up 7 0. Uh, again, uh, just to be prepared, there is, I believe, a eight goal lead rule that if, they, if a team hits that lead, then the game um, does end. Uh, but we'll see if that's in play here or not. Um, that might be conference games. That might be, um, might have certain rules over when that is in place. So I have not experienced that here at the high school level. So uh, it's new. We'll see if the Raiders uh, can put one more in to see how this plays out. Some substitutions here, and the Cardinals will have a throw-in. There's about 12 minutes left in the match. 
Raiders visiting in the white uniforms. Uh, take a seven. Yeah, Richard Bavall, number 13, Aaron Christie. Raiders with a 7 nothing lead. We're off two early goals, one by Chuckle and one by Berger. And then another combo of goals by Chuckle and Berger. And then uh, Nikki Elinoff, <clears throat> Aaron Sparling, and finally Quinton Muthadon uh, round out the final three goals. Uh, that gives us our seven. <clears throat> Down to about 11 and a half minutes in the match. <coughs> Raiders continuing to play tough as well as Chippewa Falls. Um, down 7 nothing. the Cardinals are still fighting for every ball, trying to make things happen. Um, love to see that. And it's good for the Raiders that uh, they continue to play hard. So, that's number four, Brennan Bolipu, uh stepping in there. <coughs> It's like the Raiders have number 23, Joao Silva, in the match as well. So a nice mixture of uh, players on the field for the Raiders. See if they can maintain the shutout in these final 10 minutes or so. Oof. Cardinals with a little scare there, getting it into the danger zone. And uh, <coughs> Raiders getting that ball out nicely. Owen Wassman with the ball. <clears throat> so Joao Silva up, uh, kicking it off the Cardinals, giving the Raiders a corner kick, which, again, they say it a lot, but it's a it's a it's one of the better opportunities for scoring that you'll see in a soccer match. And uh, offenses love to have them. <clears throat> A little dark in the corner, can't see who's taking that kick. It's a nice ball though, right where you kind of want it, right in that area. Football falls, pushing up. <clears throat> Sheets is up to the task. Uh, <clears throat> kind of a longer, unbalanced, not a great angled shot by Chippewa Falls. Can't blame him for taking it though. But uh, Sheets is able to make the save and hang on to the shutout here with now under nine minutes left. Raiders seven, Chippewa Falls, Cardinals zero. <coughs> this ball around. <laughs> and the Cardinals with another throw in. <laughs> Cardinals trying to get it through there, but the Raiders defense stepping up. Big head by Connor Hauser there. Well, Silva takes a little flip off a little bit of a trip away from the ball. Nothing the ref is going to call. Good takeaway here by the Raiders. Kicked out of bounds by the Cardinals. Going to be a corner kick for the Raiders with about seven and a half minutes left in the match. <laughs> Big ball in. Oh. Good job by the Raiders. Good attempts there. Brady Anderson with a nice 
nice shot at the end there. Goalkeeper in the right spot, makes a nice play and uh, holds it at 7-0. <clears throat> Raiders again, pushing it up. Substitutions in for both teams, I believe, and uh, we're now pushing into the final six minutes of the match. Again, uh, Chippa Falls working hard. In Hudson, 24, Toby Schneider. Ah, there we go. That's as I said, Toby Schneider getting into the match as a field player now. So, Toby. Started the game as the goalkeeper and now in the game playing as a field player a bit, um, which is fun for Toby. <clears throat> his, prior, his primary responsibility is goalkeeping, um, but Toby does enjoy getting on the field uh, as well, so kind of fun to see that. Here we go, Raiders uh, going to get an interesting opportunity here. This will be a free kick. It's going to be somewhat similar to a corner kick here. Uh, I almost played that angle. Great idea. Ref didn't back the wall off much. And uh, so the Raiders tried to do something interesting there, but the, the pace was a little off on the ball. And the defense was able to take it. Here we go, though. Uh, Raiders defense as it stands, still playing strong and keeping that ball out of the goal area. Cardinals again, We've got a foot race here. Ball up here, make sure that ball gets out of bounds. And right now that's, uh, sorry, that's Mac of Mizzle. Hustles that one out. It's going to be a throw in. We're now down to about four minutes in the match. Ooh, Cardinals with a good opportunity there. <coughs> Miss kind of ricocheted off a Hudson player, which will give the Cardinals a corner kick. And uh, this is probably an opportunity the Cardinals really want to try to, to take advantage of and get on the board here. <laughs> Raiders have three, six, seven, eight, or nine players back on defense to try to hold this shutout. It's a nice ball in, a nice play by Talon Sheets to punch that out. Uh, no Cardinals uh, on that ball where Talon got it, so great play, uh, Talon Sheets. Connor Hauser getting uh, two guys on him. Raiders still may be able to keep that ball where they want it. Raiders again moving it around. We're down to about three minutes in the match. There's Toby with the ball right now. Toby looking like he really wants to score. He got the ball deep and he <clears throat> sent a low ball in, uh, bounced off another Raider though, and uh, will now have a goal kick for Chippewa Falls with about two and a half minutes left in the match. Big kick from Chippewa Falls, nice kick. Moved up by the Raiders though, nice step up by the defense there. Quentin. 
ball. Never quite settled on his feet well. Still able to move that ball around though. Well, Falls playing a little physically here uh, at the end. Probably a little frustration with the score. Uh, been a physical game, but not, not too bad. No yellow cards, nothing egregious on either team. A well-played match uh, with some physical play and some fouls, which is what soccer should have. Big kick by the Raiders. See if they can get this final. Nope. A little heavy on that ball. A little kick beyond what was going on. Uh, throw in here. We're now down to about a minute and a half. We'll have a substitution, it looks like. Amber Chippewa Falls, number three, Anthony Soberano. Down to about a minute in the match now. <clears throat> Raiders hanging on to the 7 nothing lead. One minute remaining in Another the throw in for Chippewa Falls. Or maybe a free kick. Down to less than a minute, about 45 seconds now. Well, Paul's going for the very end here, trying to make something happen even in the last few seconds. So on Wasman with a good play to win that ball, and he's going to send it up deep to Toby. They're trying to give Toby Schneider a chance. Uh, Chippewa goalkeeper nicely plays that ball, comes out deep to get it, pushes it up. Wasman again. Looking to set up uh, the ball deep. There's Hauser. Good hustle in. Nice play by the goalkeeper. Ten, Ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Great match there by your Hudson Raiders. Hudson seven, zero. Please give both teams a round of applause for great game. We think they were coming out supporting high school athletics. And tonight's contest between Hudson and Chippewa Falls. Please drive safely on your way out of Chippewa Falls High School tonight. And we hope to see you at the next home Cardinal soccer game. Good evening. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Congratulations to Hudson on the big victory. And have yourselves a great day.